What's up everyone, my name is Mackenzie, and today we're gonna learn how to do slow motion in Premiere Pro, but with a clip that only has 30 frames per second. Let's get started. So what this is really good for is for the filmmaker who shot his entire shoot in 30 frames per second. And let's say there's a point in your edit where you want to be able to use some slow motion. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into our timeline here and we're going to get started. So I have a clip here of a wakeboarder and he is being shot with a DJI Phantom 4. And so what we're going to do is we are going to press Command R and that brings up our speed and duration uh, window. And what we're going to do is we're going to slow it to around 70%. All right. And so as you can see here, it's slow, but it has uh, this, this choppy effect between the frames where it doesn't look quite right. And that's because this was shot uh, on 30 frames per second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click here. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says time interpolation. And what's going to happen is I'm going to bring it down to optical flow. As it's rendering here, one thing that I do want to add is if the light changes in your frame at all, it could come out with this wavy effect when you put in optical flow. So be careful with that when you're doing it. So let's check out this shot now. So much smoother and that looks beautiful. That's perfect. Um, so I normally do my slow motion with just 70% here. Uh, and I recommend that you don't go anywhere lower than 60% or else it's not going to turn out how you want. Um, but other than that, that's how you use optical flow. That's how you change your speed and duration in Premiere Pro. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll be sure to answer it as soon as possible. Be sure you hit that subscribe button down below. My name is Mackenzie. We'll see you here next week on Learn Stuff.